Well, it's time for an official introduction. Guys are being silly. Guys are being silly. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Renewed Homestead. Ben and Denise here, and if you remember many months ago, we got us a couple of rabbits. Well, we got three, in fact. And, well, they're now old enough. So today we're going to officially introduce the girls, as we refer to them, to Starbuck. Yes. The male. So there they are. They've been side by side in their cages. And, uh, you know, it's now December and they're old enough to uh, start making babies. Yes, and pretty soon Ben's working on the rabbit hutch. Pretty soon we will actually have them in their actual hutches. Yep. Um, the girls are just over eight months old, so we waited until they were at least eight months um, just to make sure that they were ready. Yep. Um, we want to practice good husbandry. Um, and they've been side by side, but they have never officially met. Now, this is our first time breeding rabbits. <laughs> so, yep. um, so hopefully we don't make too many mistakes. We've done a lot of research. Um, on how to do this. Now, first thing we're going to do is let's remove the water dish and the food dish. And the reason why is there's probably going to be a lot of running around and we don't want anybody to get hurt, any problems. All right, now, the reason we're taking it out of Starbucks cage, everything I have researched said do not put the buck in with the does. So the does are very territorial. Um, so, well, basically two reasons. The does are very territorial and they could actually hurt Starbuck, especially because there's two. Um, but also I've heard that Starbuck is going to sniff and sniff and sniff instead of actually doing what he needs to do. So, um, so we'll put him in with his own pheromones in his own cage and we're going to do one at a time. And these are, these are silver fox rabbits, and the females actually get bigger than the bucks. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're, pretty, they're pretty evenly sized, but they will, uh, they will continue to get bigger. But. Yeah, and this is their first time. I know um, if you've got um, breeders that have been breeding for a little while, you want to check their genitalia just to make sure that there's no STDs. But they're, they've never done this before. Um, so uh, everything looked fine, but that was something that I did research that said you just want to make sure, I guess rabbits can carry uh, sexually transmitted diseases, so you just want to make sure their genitalia uh, looks clean. I wonder why you're talking about motor oil. <clears throat> oh, that's STP. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. All right, so All right. gloves and long sleeves. So you better get your gloves on. Yes. Now, do you want to explain why we're wearing gloves and long sleeves? Well, these guys have claws and they do scratch. Yes. And even just in cleaning their, their cages, because we go in and clean these out every other day and give them fresh straw and all that until the, until the rabbit hutch is done. And just in the transferring of that from the cage to the holding cage, we've gotten scratched many times. So I think that... Uh, I think that they'll probably be a little more amped up today anyway, so we don't want to get scratched. Yes. So. All right, so do you want to do the I'm going to grab them. I have longer arms, so. Now we're doing one at a time. All right. Volunteers? Anybody want to volunteer? No? All right, come on. 
Come on. Ah, 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 ah. No, you can't run out the front. All right. All right. Hold on. Shut that. Her. Yes, these cute, cute little bunnies have really sharp claws in there. Makes sense. They dig for, in nature. You can see I'm getting a hold of her back legs so she doesn't kick away, <laughs> too. All right. Okay, I've got the cage door. Okay. So if you wanted to start. All right, what we're looking for is to make sure she's not being too grumpy. Wow. All right, that was fast. Now, supposedly they're supposed to fall over when it's done. They say the first time it can be a little, you know, he's not sure what to do. He seems to know what to do. <laughs> I can't tell. And she's not, she's not fighting him. She's not moving away. Looks like he's whispering sweet nothings in her ears. I'm not sure he's got it. All right, see, this is what we're talking about, inexperience. They can sometimes go up the side instead of where they need to. So, Ben, we might need to adjust him. Well, she's going to move around, I would think. Mm -hmm. She might get a little grumpy if he doesn't know what he's doing. There we go. Well, that was anticlimactic. Um, so we will try this again, what, tomorrow, the next two days after this? So we should try it three days in a row? Well, if they're not doing what they're supposed to do, yes. Yeah. Well, it's a little hard to tell what's, uh, what's happening down there. Well, my understanding is the, the buck is supposed to kind of fall sideways after it's been successful. But he's struggling a little bit, so uh, probably put him in tomorrow. Now, um, rabbits don't go into heat like we think of most animals. So after they have mated, then she'll actually start to ovulate to make those babies. So it's, it's kind of an odd thing, but that's kind of how rabbits um, work. So I guess their, we'll try again tomorrow. and Just their physiology, I guess. All right, so for those of you that have rabbits, um, what are your thoughts on this? Does every rabbit fall to the side? Um, that's what I have read and researched, but this is our first time as well. So, you know, normally nature takes its course and it's all good, but uh, it looks like he's pretty well done. I think he's tired. So we're gonna let the girls rest and then we'll try this again tomorrow. Yep. And the idea behind this is these are our breeding stocks, so they'll stick around, but they're babies. These are being raised as meat rabbits. Yes. So. And we're going to get a couple more rabbits, too. Yep. Because um, yeah. we want to have the meat on the homestead and yep. for ourselves and for our, for our dogs. Yeah. And the hutch is an eight-run hutch, so there's there'll be plenty of room. Yeah. They won't be, we're not going to pile up animals in these cages. This is just temporary while we get that set up. So. All right, well, yeah. I don't, I don't think it took, but, you know, we'll try again tomorrow. Take two. Yep. So. Thoughts, concerns? Comments. Yeah, let, us, let us know what we're doing wrong. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and while you're thinking about it, go down, smash that like button. Thumbs yes. up, subscribe. And remember, go to uh, renewedhomestead.com forward slash shop. We have uh, natural deodorant available. 
Yeah. Um, I don't know that we've got any comfrey right now. It's it's nah, really not. It's a, it's a yeah. It's nobody's a little working soil right late now. Late in the but, season, yeah. So. But definitely and, can purchase some uh, all natural homemade beer. And our uh, I am the counterculture shirts are available on. Fun. Bonfire. That's yeah, it. I link can never will be remember. in the description. There you go. So, so all right, y'all. Right, let us know if we're, what we're doing wrong, and uh, we'll check in with you later. Sounds good. Take care, everybody. God bless. Bye, y'all. Bye.